Let's do a problem on a slider rack mechanism that is a little bit different from the conventional one that we used to do. So let us see the problem. In the mechanism shown below, the slider C is moving to the right with a velocity of 1 meter per second and an acceleration of 2.5 meter per second square. Dimensions of the various lengths are AB equal to 3 meter inclined at 45 degree with the vertical and BC equal to 1.5 meter inclined at 45 degree to the horizontal. Please refer to the figure below to understand the question. Determine the magnitude of vertical and horizontal components of acceleration at point B. The angular acceleration of the links AB and BC. Let's move on. So the first step in the problem is to do a proper configuration diagram for the given setup. Everything starts from the fixed point. So put the fixed point on the wall the wall bracket point a do a vertical axis to measure the angle take your protractor put it like this vertically and we have to measure a 45 degree from the vertical that means the angle starts from 180 and goes in reverse so 180 minus 45 is 135 put a dot at 135 and do a line through that so now the length of the link is given as uh, 3 meter so from a so for 3 meter i'm going to take a 1 is to 30 scale which is 3000 mm by 30 will give me 100 mm therefore take 10 centimeter or 100 millimeter in compass put your needle of your compass on the red dot and do an arc on this line at a distance of 100 mm so now that marks the point b okay from here i want to do a 45 degree on the from the horizontal passing to this point to note the point C. So this side is that 45 degree either to the left or right. You can just refer to the question figure. It is on the left. So therefore, take your protractor, put it like this, inverted. So the horizontal line for reference, and from the left side, the vertical line measure 45 degree from the horizontal. So again, you will end up in somewhere around 135 lower line through that now length of this link is given as 1.5 meter as per our 30 mm 1 is to 30 scale or 3 meter was represented as a 100 mm line or a 10 centimeter line here a 1.5 meter should be represented as half of that which is 50 mm or 5 centimeter take 5 centimeter in your compass put your needle on the red spot with be as center cut an arc on this dotted line at a distance of 50 millimeter Mark the point as point C. Now I can put the slider around this point C and the guideways around it. So now that almost completes my configuration diagram. Let's do the remaining things. The horizontal velocity vector of the slider is given in the question 1 meter per second, which is the velocity of the slider, velocity of point C. So remaining things mark the angles and the lengths. So that completes your configuration diagram. The next next step is to do the velocity. Let's take that configuration diagram for reference and start doing the last area. Problem starts from fixed point. There are two fixed points here, points A and D. Therefore, in a velocity diagram, all the fixed points will come converge into a single point. Therefore, let us first mark a point and name it as A comma D. Both the fixed points come into the single point. Now let us start. The known magnitude is the velocity of slider, which is given as 1 meter per second. Let us, do, let us use a different scale in this case. Since it is only 1 meter per second, if you go with a 1 on 1 scale, 1 is to 1, you cannot make anything meaningful out, meaningful out of this diagram. You have to scale it up. I am going to use 1 millimeter equal to point, not 1 meter per second. Therefore, my 1 meter per second vector will become 100 millimeter. Please understand. 1, mil, 1 millimeter on the velocity polygon will be equal to 0 0.01 mm per second. Therefore, for a 1 meter per second slider velocity, I have to do a 100 mm line, which when multiplied with 0 0.01 will give me 1 again. I hope you follow the scale. So, now let us transfer the direction from the velocity vector of the slider in the horizontal direction and take it here. Please remember only the slider velocity vector is parallel, all the other length velocity vector is perpendicular because slider moves in a 
straight line rectilinear motion so now do a 100 mm straight line mark the direction of velocity and name it as velocity of c point c now next step is to transfer the directions and find out the intersecting point let us take the scale put it perpendicular to bc and transfer the direction starting from point c i don't know where is b i know c where is c so therefore transfer the perpendicular direction of bc link to the point c and do a indefinite total so next step is to similarly transfer the perpendicular direction of a b and do an indefinite daughter line they both intersect at a point let us name the point as b so that gives you an outline now mark the directions and name the vectors just by measuring the length we can see it is somewhere around 7.2 centimeter 72 millimeter by scaling i know 0.01 meter per second is represented by 1 millimeter so 72 into 0.01 is 0.72 meter per second for the link a b similarly for the link bc again i get something around 7.2 centimeter so which is again equal to 0.72 meter per second so we have answered one question determine the velocity of the links a b and bc so it is equal to 7. Point, i mean 0.72 meter per second both the cases since you have 245 degrees you get the same values let us move on now it's time to do the acceleration diagram Take the configuration diagram for reference. Start from the fixed point a dash comma d dash. So acceleration of the slide is given towards the right direction as 2.5 meter per second square. Represent the acceleration of slide along the direction of reciprocation to some suitable scale that is along the horizontal. Okay. So take 1 mm equal to 0 0.025 meter per second square. So just to make sure that you get at least a readable 100 mm line. You can do, do any scale, it is not that you have to do 0.025. So, I will get a considerable 100 millimeter line so that results become readable when you do. And you need to find out from the measure from the diagram. If the line is too small, you cannot measure it, therefore, I am making it larger. So, 2.5 meter per second should be represented by 100 mm line, therefore, I am taking the scale as 2.5 by 100, 0.025. So, 0.025 meter per second square, therefore, I get a 100 mm line for the horizontal acceleration vector of the slider so do the vector do 100 mm line so mark it as a dash c dash and mark the names okay so now there are the two links for whom we know only the radial components <coughs> radial component is given by so now i know the velocities of the two links from the velocity diagram so therefore don't forget you have to do an acceleration diagram only after doing the velocity diagram so that you know all the velocities to determine the radial components now let us take the link bc i know the velocity of bc from the previous problem as 0.72 so i am finding out the radial component of acceleration by using the formula velocity square by length of the link therefore 0 0.72 square by 1.5 gives me 0 0.346 meter per second square similarly for the link ab i get 0 0.72 square by 3 meter it is half of that so the length is twice therefore acceleration becomes half of that therefore it is 0.173 meter per second square now these two values of acceleration are acting parallel to the links located acting towards the center of rotation please remember always radial components act along the link towards the center of its rotation therefore let us begin by doing the radial component of acceleration i'm going to take use the same scale ratio don't change the scale ratio within one diagram for acceleration diagram, I have started with 0.025. I should proceed with 0.025. Don't change it. 0.346 is the acceleration of BC. So I am scaling it to a value of 13.8 millimeter. <coughs> so now let us do a 13.8 millimeter line parallel to the link BC. So take the parallel direction, transfer it to the point C, and do a 13.8 mm line parallel to it. So, whether to do it on the right side of C upwards or, or below the horizontal line, if you get any confusion, just look at the direction of velocity. Right? That should do everything. So, it should be downwards for a length of 13.8 millimeter. So, now let us name that point as X. So, that is your radial component of acceleration of BC. 
so tangential component is perpendicular to that we don't know the value but i know very well it is perpendicular therefore let us do a perpendicular line upwards to some indefinite length similarly i'm going to do so this tangential component line is perpendicular to the radial component you have already drawn make sure that it is perpendicular next step is similarly from uh, looking at the link ab i understand the radial component of ab is 69.6.92.173 meter per second square by using the scaling factor i understand it is 6.92 millimeter so do a line starting from a dash b dash parallel to the link for a distance of 6.92 millimeter it's very small line so now mark that point as y or y dash and do a perpendicular to that so the two tangential components the tangential component of the previous one the link bc acceleration tangential acceleration of bc and tangential acceleration of ab meet at a point mark that point and name that point as b dash so now connect the resultants these two solid lines now i just drawn are the resultant accelerations of radial and tangential components of the other two links okay let us do the directions in order to find the horizontal and vertical so if you read the question something tricky is given there find the horizontal and vertical components of acceleration of a dash b dash now it is very easy first let us look at the diagram closely if you look where is a dash b dash a dash b dash is forming the resultant vector of the ab tangential and the ab radial components of acceleration therefore to find out the horizontal and vertical component what do you do you just do a vertical line meeting the bottom line baseline and now this tells you that now you can easily understand this a dash b dash becomes a hypotenuse of a right angle triangle formed the right angle triangle has a vertices of a dash comma d dash forms the left side and b dash forms the topmost point and b double dash forms the right angle point now treat this as a right angle triangle and find out the horizontal and vertical component how do you find out directly measure it using a scale take a scale and measure the length of a dash d dash comma b double dash so it comes somewhere around 3.6 millimeter so when you scale it you get 0.9 meter per second what is this 0 0.9 0 0.9 meter per second square is the horizontal component of the acceleration of a dash b dash okay similarly if i measure the vertical component i get something around 45.2 millimeter which is when i multiply by scaling ratio i get 1.13 meter per second square now if you put a square root and square and add these two values you will get the resultant of a dash b dash okay so i am doing this because it is asked in the question the question asks me to find out the horizontal and vertical components of the acceleration of a dash b dash let us move on now i want to find out the angular acceleration of the links a b and b c so always for angular always remember angular acceleration means alpha alpha means tangential component not the result of it. therefore i am going to measure the tangential component of a b in this case a dash b dash the length comes somewhere around 56.4 use the scale ratio you find out 1.4 meter per second square is the linear value of the tangential component of acceleration now we want to find alpha you convert that into angular alpha is equal to tangential component a t a b tangential component of acceleration divided by length of the link so i want to convert it into angular acceleration alpha is equal to linear tangential acceleration divided by the length of the link so 1.41 by 3 is 0 0.47 radians per second square similarly the other one measure the tangential component of bc it comes somewhere around 